This is a reading of Destination Saturn, chapters 11 and 12 by Lionheart and Ruffle Hawk. I'm reading them because I'm awesome. Right. It jizzed out the window into the... What? Into the black... Yeah, what's oh, the name of the chapter? A new day. Who cares? It's always a new day. You don't get days in space. Uh, Zed out the wind, jizzed out the window into the blackness of space. He wondered what his life was all about. He wanted to know if it was worth it. If it meant anything. He thought it did. He mad made some great friends, great friends, and had some terrific adventures during his years. Wait, didn't he just settle from Earth like two days ago? Who knows? Well, you know, where did he go? Where did he, yeah, he, 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 he just he robbed a nondescript nothing. He and robbed something and went to Saturn. Did they ever explain what happens? No. Do, do you really think it has that kind of intricacy? Maybe. There's one guy. Oh yeah, there we are. Um, his one regret, regret is that he never found love. There had been moments, <laughs> many to be sure, but never love. Never anything he wanted to settle down with. Anything. <laughs> he never realised that today all this would change. <laughs> For today, <laughs> his dream would come true. This is hard. <laughs> Maybe the author couldn't. Maybe that's what he was feeling at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Rostov checked the plasma coupling. This is looking good, no problems, he said. Sudden, coupling. Suddenly the alarm went off in the ship. A woo! A woo! Oh, for God's sake. Rost- Why do they have to emphasize the alarm constantly? I don't know. Rostov looked at the monitor. It showed a small ship heading towards the th- emitting an emergency beacon. Rostov engaged the traxor beam the and swag- pulled the ship into the Wanderer's cargo hold. The crew assembled a ruined <laughs> the unknown vessel. The markings indicate that it is a special escape fraud from a federal crazer. What? Crazer. Crazer. I know this might be cruiser and it's wrong. Oh. <laughs> said Jessica. Precisely, <laughs> said Rick. I thought I said Presley. It appears it is from Mars. Just then the door opened. Wait, if it's from Mars, it's been drifting for quite some fucking time since they're not even at Saturn yet. Just then the door opened and a figure wearing a spacesuit and a dark helmet emerged. Dark helmet. A dark helmet emerged from the escape pod wearing a helmet <laughs> <laughs> and wielding a pistol. How do people not notice these things? <laughs> Rostov yelled, Drop your weapons! Nyausk! <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? No. How the hell can you dis- deform yeah, just the n- mosque? N- Norsk. <laughs> He's from Norway, but in Russia. This figure dropped the pistol and it moved the helmet, revealing the luxurious helmet. brown hair and gorgeous features. Don't shoot. I mean no harm, said he figure. Oh, is that foreshadowing? <laughs> Pick. In- oh, Rick instantly recognised the strange woman. His heart leapt. It was Blondia Olua, the famous oh, form- holographic. Pornographic, <laughs> I'm going to say. Did she not even exist then? Yeah, famous holographic film star. <laughs> yeah. oh She's my just a God, holographic. this was written in Japan, wasn't it? What are you doing here, Wandia? Siad Rick. My ship accidentally <laughs> exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, is that all you're going to say about it? Yep, said Wandal. Rick didn't know how to act. His favourite actress, whom he had loved from afar, for so long, was finally here in front of him. This happy moment was suddenly in a, er, interrupted, though so another <laughs> figure emerged from the escape pod. A tall, handsome man wearing an expensive space suit. Suit? Suit. <laughs> One dia, my love, we are saved. Who is this captain that we owe our lives to? said Chular, Wandia's husband. Oh, well, this guy's gonna get killed. Ah, how do you know? Because I read the final bit of the last So chapter. did I. I know how it happens. Yeah. Well, I don't know how it happens, but I know there's only four. Never mind. His name is Rick. Thank you, Rick, for saving us, said Wandia as she kissed Rick on Christ. the cheek. Whatever. Rick burned inside from both the kiss and the Oh, have they just been set on fire? <laughs> Suddenly, a loud thump resonated through the ship. From behind the escape pod came a hulking alien beast. Dun, dun, dun. Chapter 12. Chapter 12. Horror in space. Rostov screamed. 
somewhere buried in the decayed memories of his brain that he doesn't have anymore, he remembered this beast. It killed his brother. It was known as the man eater. <laughs> the man eater raised its horror. Let me guess. Why the hell is there a man? Wait, ma- I think I, I I have a theory right about what the man eater does. Does it eat men? No, it okay. doesn't actually. Okay. It's it's quite surprising. <laughs> yeah, you'd think with the name of the man eater, eat mm-hmm. men, but no. No. Raised its horribly tooth head and let out a horrific yell. It chilled the crew to the bone. It charged towards Wandia Ola and tried to slaz slaz her. It's a combination of H and S. Slaz her with slaz her with its mighty claws. Her husband Chular jumped in the way and attempted to save her, but the man eater grasped him in its claws and brought him to his mouth and easily ate him. Is that the eating noise? No, I can read that. His head. Easily ate his head. Him. <laughs> Wait, what's the difference between his head and him? I hey, guess, hang on I a guess minute. you want to tone it down for PG. Hang on a minute. You said the man eater doesn't eat men. Well, this is obviously a one-time occurrence. Oh wait, hang on a minute. So he's her going against dead. his nature. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who thought? I bet he's gonna love him. I bet Rick's gonna love him for that. Bulgood streaming down its mouth. Wandia screamed in terror and horror. This had to be a dream. She thought. The monster yelled again, her terror rooting her to the spot. Sudden, wait, is that the monster's terror or Wandia's terror? Suddenly, no, the monster is being it. Suddenly, Rost, oh, right. Rost have jumped towards the monster. Where is it? I keep losing and it. Stabbed. And stabbed. And <laughs> stabbed <laughs> it with his proton lance. The monster screamed in angry. <laughs> Gross saw this opportunity and pressed opportunity and pressed opportunity and pressed the button to open the cargo bay, hoping to blast the alien into outer space. The wind howled and There's pulled. no wind in space. <laughs> I don't know. It's just vacuums. It's, it's explosive decompression. It's like that episode of what was it? I forgot. <laughs> Wait, seen the alien films, right? Yeah, like that. You know like where that. they go out the when they go out the thing? Yeah. They don't actually. What would happen here in space? You wouldn't just blow away. You would actually die. You'd like decomp- you'd decompress or something. You'd Depends if you had air in your lungs or not. Yeah, but Because then so pressure would go outwards. What so. happens to the aliens then? Do they just float around in space, screaming at? I don't know. know. It probably did. It would probably die from hunger or that. Just stupid. That's the thing I don't like about aliens. Also. Yeah, you never actually see them dying apart from the newborn right at the end of Resurrection. What was that? And that was quite good actually. That was interesting to watch. Stabby Gross. Gross saw this opportunity and pressed the button to open the cargo bay. Oh wait, the wind howled, pulling everything in the cargo hold in space. Gross saw grabbed onto a large crate and he was pulled out. The alien grabbed onto Wandia's foot. It was trying to pull Wandia out with it. Rick grabbed onto Wandia's arm, tried to grab her back in. He strained with all with all his might, but the monster was too strong then. It was pulling everyone out. I'm how imagining some. Ar- I'm imagining some preferred kind of conga. How many fucking arms does this thing have? <laughs> Rick couldn't think of anything to do to save Wandia. Then he remembered his bio pistol in oh, his well, pocket. Oh, the useless gun. So not gun. thinking, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> he grabbed it with his free hand and pointed at the monster's arm. He Hey, I've got this. Fluff. F. 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 I. R. E. D. Fired. F. F. Fired. 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 (laughs) Diagonal lettering. Uh, Exclamation mark. Five exclamation marks for All in the same line as the D. F. I. R. E. D. Wait, hang on a minute. What? Doesn't that bio pistol cause heart attacks? Yeah. It probably hasn't. I don't know. He probably has a heart in his arm, and it's a heart that's very sensitive and it explodes really easily. Yeah. The alien roared as his arm exploded and flew out the hatch with the rest of its body. Rick had saved Wandia. She kissed him on the lips and thanked him for saving her. Then he began to cry <laughs> because her husband had died. No, he just remembered just then. Yep, the end. That reminds me of this thing I once saw. What? Go. Quick. Well, you know, um, it. You know the what, what do you call it? The, the fan fiction by Squirrel King, the halos yes. in space. Yes. Yeah. Some like uh, a ship explodes in space, then one guy goes, "Oh no, he was my brother," and then he fell asleep. Yeah. That's what it's like. Nine thirty-seven, nine thirty-eight. Don't you dare, you fucking. Well, son how much time do you finish?